What's going on everybody? My name is Johnny and welcome back to JNM Productions and in today's video we have a parameter video. Now this is for a brand new display that they have made uh, for all the Alibaba scooters. A lot of them tend to use the LH100 displays along with the ZB01. However this is a new one. It's the Mao 1 De, de Mayo, de Mayo, <laughs> however you want to call it. Regardless, uh, it's the new display that they're using for some of their scooters. Obviously, it's a knockoff to the Mini Motors uh, display that they use in the Dualtrons, uh, the Cabo Wolf Warrior, etc. And it, it's a really nice display, and there's actually some really nice parameter settings in it. Uh, obviously, I'll go through all of them. Uh, quick side note: uh, Wayne David told me that they have no instructions on it simply because it's all in Chinese right now because it's a brand new display they don't have any of them made in English yet so I took the time and I copied and pasted literally all the parameter settings uh, from Chinese to English and from Google Translate and I actually have all the parameter settings and I'll actually have a link in the description down below for you guys to Look at it from the Google Doc. If you want to print it, go right ahead. But regardless, I'm sharing it to you guys because if you guys get the scooter down the line or happen to get the same display as mine, then this will be perfect for you. But like I said, it'll only work on the display that is shown here. It will not work on all the other ones because they have all their own user manuals and etc. So thanks again, guys, and enjoy the video. So, we've seen the X13 unboxing, we've seen a closer look, we've seen comparisons, and I think before, obviously I attempt to do some rides, especially with how cold it is outside, I want to do a parameter video. Now, I did it with my E-Pro, and that one turned out great, I got a lot of great responses from that, and a lot of people got the help they needed with that display, just because the LH100 is actually really difficult to find uh, the proper settings online, just because there's like five different manuals, and each of them are slightly different with each and different parameter. However, this is a brand new display. As we see here, we got the uh, Mayo 1 de Mayo. <laughs> I think that's how you say it, de Mayo, I don't know, de Mayo. Um, I guess like Lemo. Now if you're not really familiar with getting to your settings, this practically works on every scooter. I know I don't think any of them are really different, but anyways, turn your scooter on, voltage meter should turn on, hit your power button, display should light up, we're already at the main menu. Now you're going to press mode and power button at the same time. So use your index and middle finger, tap it, and boom, we are in the parameter settings. Now here we're on parameter one, and it goes all the way to parameter 18. Now after some time, this should just reset back. Yep, just reset it back to the main menu. So let's go ahead and check out each and every one. I'm also gonna try my best to show this. My camera is not the world's greatest with um, showing this display. So I'm gonna try my best here. I know it might look a little dodgy and all that, but I'll give it a shot and hopefully you guys can be able to see it okay. All right, so parameter one is display brightness. So obviously here, we're gonna change it. So we change it to one, so that's gonna be the least bright. Two is gonna be like kind of in the middle, and three is the brightest. Honestly, just keep it at three. That's what it was set to. And you want it as bright as possible, especially during the nighttime. You wanna be able to see, you know, everything from your, uh, you know, odometer to making sure there's no air screens and whatnot showing on your scooter. Parameter two is uh, miles to miles, per, or yeah, kilometers to miles per hour. Now, this one doesn't work. I'm being actually serious. I can't get it to change. I've tried pressing mode, power, but then power just changes the parameter. So, kind of just defeats the purpose, but other than that, that's what it's supposed to do. So, I don't know what the issue is with that. But, you know, I'm, luckily I know how kilometers works for the most part and what speed I'm at. But this could affect some of you guys and hopefully for you guys the setting works. Now parameter 3 is your voltage. Obviously this is what the voltage of the scooter is set at, which is 72 volts. Do not touch this. This is a, un, you don't need to touch it. Your scooter is set to the voltage that it needs to be at. 
you know, anything else you could end up damaging the controllers, just don't touch it. Keep it at what voltage your scooter is at. Parameter four is sleep time mode. Now, obviously, after a certain amount of time, your scooter is going to turn off just because it's been on idle for so long. Mine is set to uh, 10 minutes. You know, I think that's plenty of time. I really don't think it should even be on for that long, maybe even five minutes for some people. But I wouldn't do like a minute or anything, especially if you're trying to like test stuff out. You want to just make sure it's at a decent time for staying on. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip uh, parameters 6 and 7. Uh, 6 is wheel diameter and 7 is number of speed magnets. Those are really not needing to be touched. They've already adjusted them to what the uh, magnets are for the speedometer to um, be um, correct after what speed you're at. So just once again, those are kind of a don't touch. Now parameter 8 is how fast you want your scooter to go. Now, according to Wayne David, this thing can go 100 kilometers an hour, which is roughly 62 miles per hour. I have it set to max just because I really don't think I'll really need to change it. You know, if I want to go slow, I'll be in mode 1. I don't need to be in mode 3 or 2 all the time. Um, obviously, if you're maybe buying this for someone who's not as adventurous, you can actually change the speed, which is actually kind of nice because you can lower it to maybe 50 kilometers an hour and just have them start at it and get used to the scooter. So that's actually a really nice feature that they added. All right, parameter nine is zero start or non-zero start. So obviously for me, I don't need to do anything special. I just hit the throttle and I'm off. However, for some people, they don't like that because they think it's a little too quick. So in this case, you would uh, do a little like kick and then you would take off. So, you know, it kind of works, but I, I just don't think it's necessary. And once again, I'm gonna skip a parameter 10. It's a drive mode setting, but according to the instructions, it's an invalid mode at the moment. So, <laughs> just don't use it I guess. <laughs> Parameter 11 is actually going to be a assist sensitivity. Now obviously this is when you accelerate um, how sensitive you want it to be. Now I have it set at 12. I think you should have it right in the middle. You know you don't want it to be too high or too low. Just have it in the middle and if you need to adjust it go from there. And just like we've been doing, I'm going to skip parameter 13. That is a assist magnet plate. Again, don't need to touch that. That's all been adjusted to whatever it's at. Now, parameter 14 is actually the uh, controller current limit. So it's set at 12, and we'll confirm it here for uh, parameter 14. 10, 11, 12, 15, 14. Yep, set at 12. Uh, it can go up to 20 amps, but again, this is kind of a don't touch. Keep it at the default of what it's set to. Uh, that's again, you don't want to mess up your controllers. They already have that all set up to what it needs to be used at. And we're going to keep doing this. Uh, parameter 15 and 16, once again, are off limits. Um, and actually, I even have it on my settings here on my phone. Oh, geez. Um, it actually says unknown. So I have no clue uh, what that one does. That's literally what it translated to. So <laughs> I, I don't know what it does, but so with that, don't touch it. All right, so we got two left here and for parameter 17, it's actually uh, cruise control. Now, for some of you that don't know how cruise control works on these scooters, uh, for most of them, you actually just hold the throttle down at the exact same speed for roughly two to three seconds and you can let go of the throttle and it'll stay at that speed. Now, I actually was terrified the first time this happened because I wasn't aware that they had it on and when I let go of the throttle, I was still accelerating and it literally scared the crap out of me. Luckily, there were no cars in front of me, but still, probably they should have had that turned off. I really don't think that was a good move on their end, but regardless, I have it turned off, but some people enjoy it and I might use it down the road. And finally, probably the best setting that Wayne David has added to this scooter. I literally cannot say it enough. Thank you, Regen. This was one of my biggest complaints about the A8 Pro, is that there is Regen in it, but it's only a certain amount and you can't change it. And that sucks because I would love to change the setting, but you can't because of the LH100 display. It, it, it just sucks but here 
they finally added regen, a real regen setting to the scooter, which means I can finally control how much more regen I want compared to my braking power. I have it set to zero just so you don't go flying off it because regen can be fairly strong and it goes from zero to three. So right now I have it set at two. I have yet to test the regen. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to do a test of that for you guys and tell you which one. But right now I have it set at two, but if this is your first time uh, using regen on a scooter like this, put it at one and just make sure you're gonna be okay with it. Because with the Maki scooter, they had it set to the max and it's just way too strong. Like literally I almost fell off. It, it, like, like literally what you're seeing, it's like, it's like a jitter. It's like, ugh, it's just so sudden. So thank you, Wayne David, for doing this. I recommended this to you. So I'm sure you listened to a couple other people, but this is awesome. And that, guys, is going to end today's video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I really have been satisfied with the X13. Just, you know, I got to do more testing on it and get a more thorough review for you guys. But all right, that's going to end it, guys. And see you guys in the next JNN Productions video.